Hey everybody, it's Nile Livesey here with PRN Tech, and once again, we're doing a collaboration with our test drive show. Today, we're in the back of the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Limited, and it does have this optional rear entertainment system. So we're gonna cut right to the chase. I'm not gonna go into a whole bunch of detail here. We're gonna see if we can plug in our Xbox One S into the rear entertainment system back here. We tried this on the Navigator. It did not work, but we're hoping that round two here will be better. And I think it was a power issue I don't know if we're going to have the same issues because the uh, setup here is pretty much the same. So we've plugged it in. There is an outlet just behind this seat here. There's not one on the other side. So if you are plugging in a house outlet, you're pretty much limited to that. I don't know if that changes if you don't get the stow in back system because it's on the other side. So we've got that plugged in. There is HDMI on the front of these monitors here. So we're going to switch this over. And it's quite easy. It's a touch screen here. So we're going to put in HDMI 2 because that's where we're going to be connecting it to. And then we're going to switch it over here, HDMI 2, on the other screen where the other camera is set up. And we're going to do HDMI out to TV. And we're going to hope that it actually works this time. That sounded good. So far, so good. Because the Oh! Oh, it works! It works! Oh my god, this is so good. This is what happens when you don't test things, because if you watched our last episode that we did here on PRN Tech with the Lincoln Navigator, it did not work, and I, now I don't know. The outlet here, I think it's 115 volts. Don't know what it says, I can't read it, but I believe it's the same. So maybe it was the power cable. Before we were using this little stubby piece of crap, I don't even know where it came with, probably some little device I had. We're now using one off of an uh, old Apple Airport Express or Airport Extreme, and it's working. It's loading up right now. Now, unlike the Navigator and something like the CT6 or the BMW 7 Series, there isn't like a hotspot in here. You can't use internal Wi-Fi to be able to connect it, but we should still be connected to our home Wi-Fi because we're just in the driveway here, and we should be able to load up. Uh, I hope I still have it installed. Uh, it's been actually a few weeks since I've played my Xbox here. So let's just go into the games. And you can see my gamer tag there if you guys want to add me up. Okay, so I do still have Halo 5. So we're going to do that in a second. I just want to see the what the, the output is on this. Because it's actually, it looks really good, especially sitting back here. You know, I think the screen quality is quite good. Considering, you know, we're basically using a little monitor on the back here. And it's doing it twice, right? We've got two screens running. The, the monitor that you guys can see is separate from the one that actually I'm using. And you can tell that I don't do this often because I forget completely how the menus are all set up now. I think there was an even update yesterday, a couple days ago. So let's see here, display, video output. Yeah, 720p, that, that doesn't surprise me. I kind of figured it was 720p. Now, if we go into, so we don't have 4K TV details, but yeah, see, like nothing, nothing works, right? There's no HDR, nothing. These are just basic screens back here, but it works. I'm really impressed. So now let's go into Halo 5. It's the whole point of the video. We titled it playing Halo 5 on the back of your rear entertainment here. And it makes sense. This is a minivan. It's meant for families. So often you'll have two adults up at the front and however many kids you have, three. Uh, in our case, we have one, but you can control essentially what's going on from the front console there, which makes sense. You can disable everything. So if you want to turn everything off, you can, you can mute it. So if your kids are screaming at each other or they're not listening, you can do that. You can also view what's going on too. So if you plug in something like a Roku and they tell you they're watching cartoons and you find out they aren't, you can check. But the whole point is you can play Halo. Ah, uh, that's awesome. And here's the thing. Okay, you're not going to be playing online. Like I said, there's no, there's no uh, network connection here, right? You don't have the ability to actually go in and, and play with other people because the car just doesn't support it. I think it's just awesome that it works. Now, you could probably get a hotspot to work in here somehow. Uh, we're not going to be doing that anytime soon. Really, the whole point is just to see if it works. And I think that the screen resolution is pretty good. I think, especially how close you're sitting to it, I can see pretty well with everything. And if you're not using, don't ever use a disc with this. If you're buying an, uh, a car like this and you want to be able to play your Xbox in the back while it's actually moving around, not just, you know, you as an adult sitting in the back while soccer practice is going on, 
and you want to play some Halo, don't put a disc in it because while you're driving, if you hit a bump, your disc is toast. So make sure that whatever you're doing is going to be all digital based. For example, Halo 5 here, we're using it through the uh, Xbox, whatever it is, the game, uh, game library. So we can go through the game here. And it's pretty responsive. I don't really see any artifacting with the screens here considering it's playing on two monitors. I think that the resolution is pretty good. And, you know, latency seems to be pretty good as well. So you could definitely make this work if you really wanted to. I think this is awesome. This is the way it should be. I mean, come on. You got HDMI input. All you need is to have the speakers come through here. So if you want to be able to hear yourself running around playing Halo throughout the whole car speaker system, I think it'd be pretty awesome. Considering it's a pretty good Harman Kardon audio system here. So I think that's awesome. Look at that. It works really well. It looks really good too. I am seriously impressed. So, I mean, if you're looking to buy a Chrysler Pacifica here and you're curious to know what you can do with the HDMI, this works really well. And again, you know, like this is an HDMI 1.4 cable. It's not even the right one for the Xbox. The cable's not the right one either, but everything seems to work. I'm, I'm quite impressed that it all seems to work. And like I said, there's no, there's no issues considering really it's running on three monitors total. You've got the two back here and then the one in the front. You can do it as well. Oh, you can listen in. You can. See, we're learning things every day. All right. Oh, buddy. Oh, dude. Okay, it, it, you can hear little issues with it. It's not perfect. If you're planning to use this, just kind of obviously not as your main gaming setup. Then I think it works pretty well. Man, that's cool. That's awesome. I'm not going to play too much of it because obviously it's going to be boring just to watch me playing Halo 5 here. But you can see that it works. And it's it's not it's not the worst. I'm actually really impressed. Okay, I had to take a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how the front screens work. But that's the whole point of this. And you know, very few people buy a car, go through the owner's manual and figure it all out. And even if you do, you're not going to remember all the stuff in here. So I think it's good to be able to play through it, figure out how it all works. And as you saw in this case, not only can we listen to it, all the speakers here in the car are set up off these screens back here, but you can also view what's going on too. Now, I don't think you could probably do that while you're driving, but we could try it down the road. I'll put a, a little note in our description here. So if you're curious to see if it works while we're driving along, we'll play it not with the HDMI setup here, but with the Blu-ray disc that's in the front there. But this works, this 100%, everything works. It sounds a little off, but on the headphones, it sounded much better because you are thinking about it. There's an Xbox here, it's going into the HDMI, which isn't really the right cable. It's going into the back of this system here, and then it's being fed basically to do different screens, and then it's being fed to the front. So obviously you're gonna lose some level of quality throughout the way, but it works, and I think that's so cool. You can really, if you can be gaming on the go. That's awesome. So thanks for watching this video. This is a success, much happier than when we did the Navigator last week. So I'm happy about that. If you're interested in doing some stuff with us here, then subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get more tech stuff going on here. I know that we're significantly smaller than what we have going on with the main Perpetual Radio Network's channel, but I think that it's a good move for us to be able to split it off so we can do some things that are much different here. I think it's going to be a much more casual show that we're going to be doing here with PRN Tech. And I'm really excited about it because I love doing the car stuff, but you know, if you've watched our behind the scenes, you'll know that a vehicle like this takes me probably eight hours of filming and then all the editing and putting it all together takes a lot of time. With a lot of the tech stuff like this, I threw all the equipment in here, took me a little bit to set it up, we're good to go, the video is done. So it's a little quicker for us to do things like this and I enjoy doing it as well because I love this tech stuff. So please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you hit up our Perpetual Radio Networks channel as well to see the full review of this 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Limited and whatever else we're doing there on Test Drive. And also don't forget to leave your comment below with your Instagram or Twitter handle and your Xbox Live Gamer Tag if you want to add me up. I will add you on my feed so I can get more content both on Instagram and Twitter, and maybe we can play some Halo 5 together on the back of these screens. So until next time, thanks for watching, and take care.